Good afternoon. It is a great honor and opportunity for us. Let me first introduce myself and my team. I'm Jerin Jahan from Russian University of Engineering and Technology, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Our other respective authors are Joypal, Kaji Fahim Latif, MD Robiul Islam sir, and Shagur Chandra Bakhti sir. Our work is based on the topic which is prediction of road accident and severity of Bangladesh applying machine learning techniques. As it is known to us, IEEE Reason 10 and HTC 2020's core purpose is to help the weekend to improve the lives also for benefit of the humanity. So keeping this aim, we choose to work in this topic which could help us to find the remedy of road accident and lower its severity. This shows the outline of our presentation. In the following slides, I'm going to present how we started our journey, where we got the motivation and methods we used in our system, etc. Lastly, I will discuss the whole system and our future work through which we can come to a conclusion. Road accidents are the accidents on the road that can involve two or more vehicles or pedestrians. This type of accidents usually cause injury to one or more people. Severity means the loss which occurs to a person or object, but when an accident happens and causes some damage in the event, then the road accident severity is measured. There are many reasons for road accident, but the most common reasons are drunken driver, distraction to driver, avoiding safety gear, over speeding, overtaking in the turning point of the road and so on. The statistics show that at the end of 2019, there are 4,702 deaths, 5,227 injuries, most accidental vehicles found were motorbikes, trucks, and buses. Here, motorbikes involve 19%, buses and truck involve 22%. So based on all these factors, we are motivated to work in this area of road accident. We work hard towards a solution which can at least lower the accident rate. We have used machine learning for our work. It is an application created based on artificial intelligence that provides the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. We applied supervised learning. Supervised learning is the machine learning task of learning a function that maps an input to an output based on the example input output pairs. Before starting our work, we have to study some related papers which was helpful for us. We have focused on the recent papers. Here, work of some previous researchers and their limitations are mentioned. In reference for the authors, analyzed N5 National Highway, found out traffic accidental pattern, used decision tree algorithm. In five, in five the authors studied the factors behind the accident, identified some key causes of accident. In six, the authors classified severity of accident use most common machine learning methods. All the previous work has some limitations as well. They focused either on accident or severity, considered only one or two factors for prediction. They had deficiency in record and gives low accuracy. Keeping the limitations in mind, we started to build a better model for predicting accident and severity. This is the block diagram of our work. From the block diagram, we can see after taking the input data, it was pre-processed by data cleaning, feature selection, calculation of Euclidean distance, which is used as the merging method, target attribution, range selection, encoding the data with specific techniques. After the pre-process, this data was divided into two separate parts. They were training and testing part. The training data set was passed to the machine learning algorithm to process the weight and learn the patterns from the data. And the testing data set was passed on the evolution step to evaluate the model. After that, 10 folds of cost validation was done to prepare the model to predict the data accurately. As we can see, several machine learning algorithms were used. They are decision tree, random forest, multi-layer perceptron, categorical knife base. After the whole process, our model was prepared to predict and give a result based on real-time data. I'm going to clarify all this section one by one. Data collection was one of the most difficult tasks to be done. Very few websites provide data on accidents of Bangladesh. So after some digging, we chose data from these two websites. 
दिस आर नेशनल ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट रिपोर्ट 2007 बीआरपीए एंड पीपीआरसी रिपोर्ट 2014 ब्लैक आफ्टर कलेक्टिंग द डाटा सेट इट वाज फाउंड टू बी अनप्रोसेस टू फीड देम टू द मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिथम वी नीड टू मेक इट प्रोसेसेबल to do so we clean unnecessary data then pick five crucial features related to accident their vehicle time month junction type and place including division and highway next was merging the features where euclidean distance calculation played the role euclidean distance can be simply explained as the ordinary distance between two points as we have chosen here total five features for our algorithm so our distance measurement will be based on five dimension each feature consider as the point on every dimension the equation is given here from the figure 4 we can understand the calculation it is a third it is a 3d representation similarly we calculate the distance for five dimension in this way we had our desired value where each factors had their own effect on that value after the data pre processing and measuring the euclidean distance we found a table full of data which were percentage measurement of the accident and its severity but problem remains here which was to classify the percentage result that will help to understand the level of severity to do so we classified the data based on some range each class has 20% of difference and based on the possibilities there are total five classes they are low moderate high very high extreme as our inputs were string type so we had to use one hot encoding to identify each feature with a unique number and label encoding was used in the target column as we have told earlier the main dataset is section into two parts one is training section with 80% data and testing section with 20% of the dataset the training set was used to train the model we built and the testing set was used to test the model's accuracy the algorithm we used is given in the list Here we can see the result of different algorithms. We have measured accuracy, precision, F1 score, standard deviation for each of the algorithms separately for both accident and severity. This result showed us how these variables varied in case of different algorithms. It can be seen from the table that accuracy of decision tree and multilayer perceptron is almost equal and higher than the other two. But F1 score of decision tree is greater than multilayer perceptron. also the run time of decision tree is very fast compared to multi layer perceptron so the best result we got from that decision tree in case of decision tree accident accuracy is 99.77% with standard deviation of 0.03% and the severity accuracy is 99.80% with 0.02% standard deviation now here we have presented the confusion matrix and the ro c curve A confusion matrix is a table that is often used to describe the performance of a classification model on a set of test data. The number of correct and incorrect predictions are summarized with count values and broken down by each class. As there are total five classes, so we can see zero to four in both row and column, and the results show that number of correct prediction is very high. The ROC curve is a graph of Uh, the ROC curve is a graph showing the performance of classification model at all classification thresholds. The x-axis showing false positive rate and the y-axis is showing true positive rate. From the count, it can be observed that accuracy of the model is high enough. The accuracy of the the accuracy of each class is also reflected in the ROC curve. A clear idea of micro and macro average of our prediction model can be obtained from the ROC. From the curve, micro average of the model is one, and the macro average is point nine nine. Here, micro average is greater than macro average, so it can be said that larger levels are accurately classified, whereas small ones are classified with an accuracy of ninety nine percent. So, lastly, it can be said that we try to build a system with high accuracy, which can help us to prevent road accident and tends to low the accident rate. Our system is cost efficient and can be used for road management system. This system can be also implemented in the mobile apps and autonomous vehicles as well. These are the references. Thus, our work comes to an end. Thank you all for keeping so much patience.